Somewhere between the edge of being alive and feeling dead Hey guys, uh, so here we are in uh, True Death Scale Electric Eel um, and I'm just uh, running the process to expand my available disk space. You can see here on what version I'm on, 24.10.1, uh, which is the recent upgrade in mid-December. And you can see that uh, pool expansion is at 25% there. Um, we were at 87% usage of our disk space, so we had another 10 terabyte drive and we're using the new ZFS expand. Uh, this is where we clicked on this uh, RAID 1, we clicked ex, uh, extend. Uh, this SDBC was the drive we added. And uh, yeah, so this was uh, pretty important for us to be able to expand our available disk space. Uh, we're also in RAID uh, Z1. You can see the other drives there. A, uh, A, B, and D were the original ones. C is the new one that I added. All of them are 9.1 terabyte drives. Uh, and you can see the process is running 25%. Should take about two days, two plus days to uh, get that drive in. And uh, yeah, I was running out of disk space and I could not run the expansion uh, in November when I got the drive because, um, and this is what I clicked here, click the expand button and that's how I started the process. I'll show you in a video later after what we're done. But uh, I uh, couldn't run this process previous to the December update because there was a defect on the uh, TrueNAS uh, appliance, the Mini X, which did not, it showed an error when I tried to open that uh, disk space uh, screen. So anyway, uh, they fixed that in the latest update. Now I'm able to use the new feature as well, ZFS Expand, and we are running. So after a couple of days, you're gonna see. So anyways, uh, very useful to have uh, RAID and uh, to be able to just add a drive and expand the disk space. Anyways, uh, let's continue on with the next part. All right, guys, so this is now uh, TrueNAS Scale Electric Eel uh, after we've expanded our ZFS pool. Um, and you can see here, uh, again, 24.10.1 is the version. If I click on Storage, um, right now I have to configure this widget, that's why it's not showing anything, uh, which I will do that later. But anyway, if we click on storage, you can see now we are at 65.8% free, or sorry, used space. Um, and we are in the latest version of Electric Eel since mid-December 2024, 24.10.1, uh, which fixed some defects in there uh, that prevented us from being able to expand the ZFS file system. Anyways, uh, update uh, that they've added uh, I, back in November where you could expand the file system. So now instead of uh, running out of space, we just added one Seagate uh, 10 terabyte drive into the pool, let it uh, expand and it uh, does its magic. And here we are at 65%. So this is what we did. We clicked manage device, clicked on the RAID Z1 and clicked the extend button. And once you do that in the drop-down list, any drives that are not allocated would show up in this list. Now, it's not showing any because I've used them all. This is where the SDC showed up. And I will show some pictures and video clips of the physical uh, appliance and, and where I plugged it in and whatnot. But it's hot swappable. You can just grab a drive, put it in, and uh, refresh the screen, and it should show up in here. And you can start expanding. Show the uh, physical space of my TrueNAS Mini. So let's just get a flashlight here. Um, so looking at this, I uh, will open the door and just kind of show what I did to expand. So I bought that other hard drive. And uh, what I did was I just popped it in. Uh, I believe it's right here. So I had one, two, three. So I popped uh, this drive out and uh, It's just like a plastic container, pulled it out live. Um, it's an empty slot, put the drive in and it just kind of hot swaps in place. So I plugged it in there and uh, 
just went through the process in TrueNAS Scale software and it was really that simple, um, which is pretty cool, right? That it detected the new drive and whatnot. So I still have uh, another uh, slot there for hard drives and two possible flash drive slots for there. But I can still expand this more, which is fabulous. But again, no sense in getting a hard drive that's larger than the 10 terabytes of each one of the existing. So I can expand this by another 10 terabytes. And then, then I'm going to have to go to the... And you don't really want to mix uh, just non-SSD drives with uh, SSD drives because the speed is it's just not there. But anyways, we'll see what we do next. But I think we're good now for another year or two. We'll see. And uh, that's it. I guess it all depends how much data you have as to how long it's going to take and it took a little over two days to get that drive added in and uh, here you can see four drives now when I bought this uh, four years ago this appliance there was only three and after those four years uh, some YouTube videos and other things family things in there we uh, needed to add another drive so uh, we'll see how long 10 terabytes uh, gets us in the future but uh, I can just add another drive and then you know, one at a time until I kind of run out of space within my appliance. And then maybe we upgrade to bigger drives or maybe we get a new hardware, we will see. So anyways, uh, yeah, this was uh, a pretty seamless upgrade to do this. Uh, we just bought a uh, Seagate 10 terabyte uh, red uh, drive. And I think red are the ones that are rated for uh, network attached storage units. They last longer and uh, put it into the, the uh, device uh, to the TrueNAS Mini X and it popped up and ran through the process and that was it. So anyways, you can see here, the, this is the original drive, the model number, um, the EFAX68LDBNO, uh, but the new drive, they, uh, the SDC, they didn't have that model anymore. So 5400 are the original three drives, but this new drive is a 7200 RPM drive, and the model's different. It's sort of the newer version of the drive, but the size is the same. Everything seems to work fine, and for my purposes, uh, no no problems there. So, um, yeah, generally speaking, I think it's not good practice to mix... Uh, um, SSDs with magnetic disks is a performance uh, is vastly different, but these are all magnetic drives. I don't know if the RPM difference will matter. You can see there, they're all nine. They're actually 10 terabyte drives, but I do have 8.17 terabytes free now. Uh, should last me a good long while anyway for what I do. And uh, really glad I'm getting mileage out of this uh, network attached storage device from uh, IX Systems. Uh, great software, great hardware, haven't had any issues. Um, I reported the defect where I could not do the expand. They fixed it within uh, half a month. There was another update. Um, and this is on a device that's like five years old, four years old, uh, still getting great support. So really happy about that. I know if this was like a you know, big brand name D-Link or something like that, I'm not sure I would be getting the same kind of support where they fix issues that many years later. So... Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video.